Astrero will be the designated inbounder. They get the lob to Soriano and gets it to go. Yeah, way to end the first quarter. And Laguna getting the final say here in this first period of action. A successful sideline inbounds there off a timeout. Let's look at that again. Mim playing for Coach Nat Gregorio. I'm, I'm really happy to tour Darius right now. Getting back his confidence. Kasi alam naman natin talaga na at first, ako kinakausap ko itong batang to na and, right, and he, he finished cool also. Diba? Now, bumabalik naman yung confidence niya sa pagbabasketball na. Talaga alam naman natin, mahal na mahal niya talaga. And during his college, talaga maraming trials lang, especially suffering that yung dalawang beses siya na operahan sa tuhod. Pero ngayon, again, yung passion niya, yung pagustuhan niya, I'm happy kung ano yung nakikita ko sa kanya right now. So, he definitely worked hard to get back into great game shape. He has been doing a great job so far in this season. Unfortunately, his efforts not yet translating into wins for his opponent. Esmina is missing out the bank shot off of that fall away. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Na para para prove yao le na he really belongs. Estrella gets it to Palares. Miss on that jumper. Darius couldn't get the board. Ball is with Gumaru. Pero Mingan, thought of the three. They swing the ball. Sanga to Marilao. Back to Paul. Pero Mingan, off the kick out. Back irons that one. Rebound for Teos. That's four rebounds in the game. For the point guard of Coach Nat Gregorio. Here he is driving in the lane. Trying to get the foul. No call. Sarangani right here on the counter. Pero Mingan, leader, doesn't fall. Espinas is there for the putback. Yeah, itong Sarangani, hindi sila pwedeng mag-relax against a team like Laguna Cra. Kasi this team, alam naman natin, again, play their home court, this team will just fight. And baka mamaya magulat sila pag nasa fourth quarter na tayo. Dikit pa yung score. And once pabuha yung crowd dito, eh, alam mo naman, okay, that's your six man. Yung energy yung ibibigay niya doon sa mga player, kahit maguna maguna, okay, napakalaking bagay. Acero getting that jumper to go. Tama ka dyan, coach. Very important talaga when you're playing on your home floor na ma-involve yung crowd. And you can only do that if you keep in step with your opponents. Keep the game close. Sanga right here, wanting to extend their lead, and yes, he does. Three-pointer is good for the former FEU Tamarao. 23 to 18 is the count, almost midway through the second quarter. Palares finding a gap in the defense and finishes. First two points in the game para sa kanya. Valiaris only had a single point to show for. Try to get that bounce pass to Sanga. Ends up with Basibas. Point flag shot. Couldn't get that one to fall. Basibas back at that. Madalas ang error sila. Masibas was only one out of four yeah, there. from the free throw area in that game against Bacor City. But has done a better job percentage-wise in this game at the line. Dedicatoria, familiar jumper from him. That's a miss. Hasn't been able to hit that shot from that area. But offensive rebound contained here by Laguna. Tough shot by Mateos. That's off to the right. Offensive rebound by Floyd. Estrella from straight away. Yes, sir! That shot triggers a timeout by Dito by Bonnie Garcia. Let's look at that play again. Off the recycle, Dedicatoria kicks it out. Two generations of former JRU players conniving on that play. Dedicatoria with the rebound, and Estrella. Takes care of business, hitting that three-point shot. 
pulling his team to within three points. Once again, 25.4 seconds remaining as we go into this timeout. Back to live action here at the Laguna Sports Complex in Santa Cruz where the Sarangani Marlins hold a three-point advantage over the home team, the Laguna Cries, the heroes. Almost a two-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Yeah, let's see what Coach Bonnie drew up with this one. Sanga, step back to the left. In and out. Floyd with the rebound. Montejos, does he have enough time? Couldn't draw iron on that shot from way out. And the score will stay as it is. Both teams coming up empty in their final possessions of the first half. As we look at the highlights, uh, the player of the half, Paras Sarangani, it's Gabby Espinas. Seven points, three out of five from the field. And one three-point shot to show for. <laughs> Aradito is a former PCU Dolphin. And a technical foul nga ang may tatawag dito kay Ivan Ludovice for faking a foul. Lately, uh, a lot of the leagues actually throughout the world they have been putting a lot of weight on flopping. Talagang binibigyan na nila ng mga technical fouls. Yeah. Really being strict on those kinds of plays. Yeah, because uh, yeah, some game, but some gets away with it. Pero yung effect kasi ng flopping eh, nakakatakot eh, delikado. Kina po, ma yung injury, okay, yung yung uh, gravity na if may ma injure yung player, alam mo, mapipila or kaya tal, kaya tiniting na talaga nila. Alias fails to convert on the end one. Three-point lead here for the Marlins. Foul call here. Looks like it's going to go against Dedicatoria. Baseline inbound for Dito to Sarangani. Saga will throw it in. Kumaru, two-man game with Espinas. Attacks the defense, kicks it out, Ivan for three, yes sir! Yeah, he has that. Six points now in the game for him. Second three-point shot in this one for Ivan. Soriano has it off to Pontejos. Eight remaining on their shot clock. Jab step, stops on a dime. And Gumaru violates the landing spot. To Tony Paolo, that's gonna give two shots for the former JRU heavy bomber. Yeah, actually, yung ayang yung move ni Paolo na yan, when you give him that left free ball, okay, he will keep you guessing kung kailan niya ipop up yan. And sometimes he spins and he pops. Ayun yung mabigat yan. Ayun yung talagang strong move niya. And I will never forget that because meron kaming game before sa NCAA na Nabaser beetle niya kami doon and we lost that game. Kaya hindi ko makakalimutan yun. <laughs> well, Ponteos has been very successful in the scoring department. Kaya lang, mapangit the percentage niya from oh. that free throw area. Two out of seven yeah. from the 15-foot line. Okay, he needs to convert those. Especially siya ang nag-create para sa team na to eh. And right now, Sarangani, maybe do, do, during the half, Talagang pumunta na sila doon sa strength. They're playing now to their strength. And Ludovice, another three-point shot here. Second straight of this quarter para sa kanya. That's gonna be a foul. Called against Paul Sanga. The luxury of having a Gabby Espinas. Parang may magnet yan eh. So, kung ako, meron ako kakampi tulad ni Gabby Espinas. Talagang, I'll spend more time practicing yung three-point shot ko eh. 
There's that lob once again. They tried to get into Soriano, but that pass too strong for Jopin to catch. Saka, short on that three-point attempt. Potels with the board. Paolo, crossover in the lane. Loader, couldn't get that one to go. Malares with the offensive rebound. Drops it off to the dedicatoria. Sorry, miss right there para kay Floyd. Sayang, sayang. That was wide open para sa kanya. Nine point advantage right here para sa Marlins. Pass ends up with Gumaru. Gets Baleares on the switch. Gumaru for three. And Sarangari starting to percolate from the outside. Sorry, that was a two pointer. He was stepping on the line. But nevertheless, a basket para dito kay Donald Gumaru. He has 10 points in the game. Look at that a little hesitation. Sizing up Baleares. Gets that shot to go for his 10th point of the game. 11 point advantage para dito sa Sarangani as we go into this timeout. Stop shop appliances. Avi Palania together with Coach Louis Gonzalez on call for you today. Mashila Salaisai is at courtside. Yeah, halfway to the quarter now. Sarangani slowly okay, establishing the game. Nila. Earlier today, Botilupa losing. Kaunan. But Omigan passed up on the three. Steal here by Estrella. Laguna, they don't have the numbers, but Estrella will take it and will make it. Six points now in the game para sa kanya. Bonus coming right up para dito kay Darius Estrella. Yeah, off a stop. Okay, dinaredirecho ni Darius. Okay, challenging Gabi Espina sa defense. Now, plus and one. Beautiful sidestep into the lane. Despite the three Sarangani defenders inside that shaded area, couldn't stop the raging Darius Estrella completes the three-point play. Once again, they go to Gabi Espinas at the low block. Kaunan from 15. Misses, but Perominga there for the offensive rebound and put back. Yeah, with Laguna, especially Sarang Sarangani going to their strengths, they need to a bet, bet, do a better job rotating. Uh, Sayang naman yung tinrabaho nung uh, defender ni, ni Gabi Espina. Kung bibigyan mo lang talaga ng ganong kadaling tira. Estrella couldn't get that three-point shot to go. That's off to the left. And we haven't seen the crowd involved here para sa heroes as they've been struggling, especially in the last few possessions. Yeah. It's Sarangani going up by 10 here. Kick out cross guard Gomaru. Another shot. Another make. Para kay Donald Gomaru. That's now 30 points in the game para sa kanya. Again, the patience. The patience of okay, tinitingnan lang nila kung paano magro-rotate kung saan manggagaling yung double. Tapos hitting the right guy. Actually, okay, malaking difference kasi happy yung hitting the right guy and compared to say hitting the open man. Diba? Astrero, two shots coming up for him. Saragani already over the limit. With 3 and 52 remaining in this third period of action. This is our main game here at the Laguna Sports Complex for Friday action here in the MBBL. Split down the line for King. The coach, the guards of Sarangani, they're doing a yeoman's job of filling in for the contributions to get Jimenez. Yeah, totoo, totoo yan. And uh, siguro, swear, uh, luckily rin, uh, ito, yung, ito yung game, ang maganda sa kanila, yung game na to, talagang alam nila, kailangan pa rin nila, kasi at the, at the end of the day, may mangyayari, may mangyayari talaga, happy sa isang team, na may masasaktang kang player eh. Tapos, 
ready to step up. Ito sila Gumaru. Ludovice is always there. Pero maganda, mas marami na siyang yung contribution niya mas dinadamihan niya pa. That's a foul away from play called on Boyles. Headline inbound right here by Sarangani. And what's good, and what's good, but you see the ginagawa ng Sarangani right now. They're getting their basket off skins, off team plays. Diba? Because Kit Jimenez, Kit Jimenez will always take charge. Diba? Kukunin niya yung bola, he will, he'll gonna play it out. Okay? Pero right now, nagagaling yung puso sa Sarangani sa mga extra passes. Eh. Passes coming from the post, okay? inside-out passes na alam natin na kung saan ang gagaling kay Gabby Spina. That's a block by Soriano. But Sarangani has possession once again. Espina is for three. That shot is blocked also. Two rejections on that offensive play by Sarangani, courtesy of Jopit Soriano. Yeah, buti hindi pa rin titinawagan ng bluff si Gabby doon. Leon, nakakuha na na sila ng technical foul kanina doon. Well, they don't want another key that could give a momentum possibly to Laguna. Three-point field goal story on your screen. Eight up, 21 for the Marlins. Samantalang 2 out of 11 lamang ang Laguna Cry Asia from that distance. How important is a three-point shot right now for the heroes? Down by 12, Coach Louis. Yeah, actually, hinadagi natin sinasabi yung power ng three-pointer. Pero hindi mo na rin kasi dahil nagtatrabaho na rin yung Sarangani Marlins right now. Defensively, they're closing out on the shooters. They identified maybe, ito yung, ito yung isa sa mga dinis-discuss ni Coach Bonnie na hindi natin pwede bigyan ng pagkakataon makakuha ng kumpiyansa yung Laguna Kranian. Imagine, bisita tayo sa bahay nila. Kaya if you notice, it's a different, iba yung mindset ng Sarangani Marlins. Okay, entering the second half. At isa pa yan sa mga... Mababang porciento ng Laguna in this game. They have been missing badly from the free throw line. Zero out of two on that trip was King Estrero. So it's the little things really, coach, that are amounting to bigger losses for the heroes in this one. Yeah, totoo yan. And if you notice, Gabby Espina playing the game. Nandito pa rin siya. Halos the entire third quarter na siya mo. Itong entire third quarter, ay mo kong ilalaro niya na. Sanga off that screen. Couldn't get that one to go. Espinas offensive rebound. One pick and the finish. Para kay Gabi. And he doesn't seem to look tired here, coach. Yes. Para fresh na fresh para dito si Gabi. Yeah. 11 points in the game. Yung, yung simulation ko kanina, happy na. Nag enjoy siya around with ito mga teammates niya sa Sarangani Martin. Para na papa bata sa lalo, kasi marami ng bata pa rin dito. So, no. Despite, you know, a lot of veterans here with Sarangani, but guys like Ivan Ludovice, Ike Peromingan, Kit Jimenez actually, also a young guy para dito sa Marlins. We bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet. Own the win. Gabby Espinas really owning that matchup off of that offensive rebound, getting a put back to go. Yeah, epic talaga yun, epic. Sanga pulls up, couldn't get that one. Rebound secured by Laguna. Boyles on the right side, almost lost control of the ball. Estrella from straight away, he'll get that shot. There's gonna be a foul away from play. That shot by Estrella will count. Breaking the double-digit barrier with 10. And a foul away from play. That's gonna go against the heroes. So two shots. Maibibigay dito. Okay, Ivan knew the piece because both teams already in the penalty with one minute and 25 remaining in this game. Alam mo, gusto ko, okay, watching this, uh, ito si Boyles. Gusto ko yung effort niya. Gusto ko yung aggressiveness sa defensa. But he needs... To, to learn, okay, to get his emotions intact. Kasi madalas, napapahamak siya lalo. Ludovice takes care of business on the first try. Shout out to the Aawitin family. 
we're watching right now, previewing the Bear. Marker not in the to say PBN. So, uh, also to Kagawad Edmund. Happy viewing to you, sir. Two out of two on that trip was Ivan Ludovice. Stretching this advantage to 13 points. 53 to 40 as you wind down the moments of this third quarter. Astrero from the left flank. Missing badly on that one. And the woes continue here for the heroes. Yeah, talaga makikita mo rin yung depth nitong uh, saranga ni Marlin. Pinagpapahinga mo si Gabby Spina. Now you have a 6 foot 7 Gabriel inside. Na mas malaki pa kay Gabby Spina at PB experience din. Playing for the Blackwater Bossing previously in his PBA stint. That's right, taller, much longer player than Gabby. And the heroes having trouble with the leather there eventually. Resulting into a turnover. That's another botched possession on the offensive end para sa kanila. Morning method here on the Heroes bench for a proper bench tomorrow. Yeah, sayang yun. Sayang yung uh, sequence na yun. 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Gabriel way out of his comfort zone. But he's gonna back down Soriano. No call. Battle for the loose ball. Estrella and Marilao on the floor. That possession is gonna go Laguna's way. An important stop right there for the heroes if they want to finish this third quarter on a high note. Because it has been a lot of struggles para sa kanila. Especially towards the latter end of this period. After keeping in step with the Marlins only down by 3 at the half, 32 to 29. They're down by plus 10 here, a 13 point lead staring at them right now. Yeah, let's see, last shot. 24 is off. Astero will play the clock. Screen offered by Estrella. Pop out. Darius for 3. Off to the left, Palliares is there at the right place, at the right time. Two plus one special coming right up para dito kay Rico Palliares. Again, not giving up the play in Palliares. That three-point shot, the miss by Estrella. Nobody boxing out the top si Palliares. Getting that foul off of Paul Sama. Takes care of business. Three point play, the old fashioned way. Nine points in the game, para sa kanya. More importantly, trimming this 13 point deficit to just the Laguna Sports Complex in Santa Cruz. You're looking at the quarter scoring on your screen. Sanagani outscoring Laguna by seven in that third period. Yeah, but it's still close, and this is uh, sinabi ko nga before we end the quarter. Na let's see, galing sa pahinga to si Paulo Pontejos kung magdi-deliver uli siya. Diba? And what's ang maganda, nag nagawa rin ng Laguna, yung mga bench players nila na at least we did reach pa rin sila. We did reach pa rin sila. Right away, off the bat, Pontejos getting a play set up for him, receiving the ball. Off of that pin down, curling and getting a foul on that shot attempt. Takes care of business on that first free throw. All free throws right here for Laguna will be very important from here on out. Not that those previous ones were not important, but of course, mas mabigat na yung weight na linalagay nila dito. Very crucial mix. Na dapat nila magawa. Mateos, two out of two. Perfect on that trip. Yeah, you can see your focus ni Paolo okay, in taking those shots, di ba? Mas matagal, mas takapokus. Mas sinipat talaga. Eight points now is the lead para sa Sarangani. Gabriel. Down low against. Uh, okay, they at they're attacking everything. Ini invert talaga nila. Okay, they put kinahatak nila yung mga big man sa labas. Then they're attacking the smalls. Nito nga uh, Laguna. 
ay nang uh, saranggani. Personal foul number four on the former Adams and Falcon. Yeah, that's two quick fouls came for uh, Sarangani. And if you're winning, eh, ayaw mo ma-early penalty kasi alam mo, ang hirap ng dumipensa pag early penalty ka. At if you're winning, ayaw mo makapuntos yung kalaban mo na nakapatay yung oras. Meanwhile, let's listen in first to Ms. Sheila Salaysay for her board, Sheila. Yes, Harry. Coach Moni Garcia reminded John John Gabriel and Danny Marilao of their roles in the court, particularly in defense. They're given quality time. They need to maximize it. Para naman sa Laguna Cra, Coach Nat wants to break Sarangani's momentum. He emphasized the need to stop their offense and for them to execute their defense and get more points. Abby? Thank you for that, Sheila. But at that time, unable to stop the attack on that offensive possession as Evandro Dubise. Drains it from a few feet beyond the three-point area. That's now 14 points in the game for him. I think the third in the half. Montejos gets it to Estrella. Drives against Casibas. That's off a pass, so no free throws. Ang may award dito kay Darius Estrella. It's going to be a sideline inbound for the baseline. Throw in for the heroes. Deos will inbound the ball. Oh, that's going to be a moving screen against Australia. And those little things, coach, those mistakes, really crucial right here para sa Laguna. You want to minimize as much as possible, or if possible, yeah. Don't commit those mistakes anymore. Mm. Na ka. Yeah, especially if you're building a run. Okay, right now, if you total it, mas marami pa rin silang na e scores sa quarter na to. Okay, compared to Sarangani. Pero, yung mga offensive plays na mga ganon, sana hindi na nangyayari. The door who just checked into the game. Turns the ball over, ran out of real estate while driving baseline. Substitution right here para sa heroes. And then Webo checks back in. Chance here for Laguna. Valiares. And then Webo swings it to Darius. Estrella to the cutting dedicatoria. In and out. Still yeah. hasn't made a shot from that area, to si Floyd. Yeah, pero alam mo naman, ay yung, yung, during his time, yung prime, talagang sweet yun eh. He barely misses that, those yung, especially, galing sa ganong klase ng flow ng, ng uh, flow movement. So the Vise having trouble, gets into Espinas, three-pointer on the way, doesn't go. Rebound ends up with Masiba, short on the putback. Estrella, two-on-one break. Dedicatoria finishes. Yeah, now making sure. Now nine points na lang to Javi, ah. And that's the first two points in the game para kay Floyd. Espinas gives it back up to Lodovice. Two-man game on the right flank. Cross court to the top. Led by the defense of Montejos. Like the thought was not aware of the time as Sarangani whistled for the 24 second violation. Another chance here for the heroes to slowly get back into this game. It's a nine possession, nine point lead rather, that they're trying to catch up from. Monteos against the Tor. Crossover, losing him. Drives into the lane. Eventually loses the leather. Turn over right there para sa Laguna. Basibas at the post against Estrella. That's a tough shot. Short on the jumper. Dedicatoria swallows the rebound. Baleares sees an opening. Couldn't get that one to go. Oh, yeah. That was an open lane to the hoop para kay Palyares. 
11 rebounds now in the game for Gabby. Double double para sa kanya. Ludovice, free for three, short. Basibas comes up with the rebound. Espinas on the recycle, the tour for three. Couldn't take that one to go. Laguna in transition. No numbers para sa kanila. Pontejos will slow it down. Darius takes it and makes it. Yeah, down to six. Can steal a lot of time. Two shall stop right here coming up. Para sa heroes. Dator for three. Second attempt. Way off. Basibas another offensive board. Still couldn't finish on the putback. Not a point blank. Misses the last couple of possessions. Para dito kay Reggie Boy Basibas. Estrella, heat check, short on that three-point try. Nakita kita may pitch ng uh, Laguna, but mukhang naghihinayang sila on that possession. Yeah. yeah, they're down by six. I think there is, they're still very much in the game. They're still very much in the game. Kailangan lang nilang tumipensa talaga. Ayan, that's unnecessary. Ludovice fouled on the way to the hoop. Estrella will be the suspect on that play. That's personal foul number three against Darius. Soriano will check back into the game. Sideline inbound coming right up for Saragani. 14 seconds left on the shot clock for the White Shirts. Ludovice for three. That one's good. I think that's three-pointer number five in this game. Para kay Ivan. 17 points para sa kanya. Lead back up to nine. On your nuevo. Shot was blocked. Soriano couldn't salvage possession. Saragani will slow things up. Gets the road lob from Espinas. Going on. Sanga for three. Still bang. Okamaru was wide open on the left side. Dina Lakita. Got a stop here para sa Laguna. If you see the composition ng five ng Sarangani Marlins right now, talagang fit na fit na may tumerong kang Gabi Espinas. Ponteo, strong on the floater, gets his own miss. Recycle right here for the heroes. Soriano trying to seal Kauna in the middle of the floor. It's a foul. That's going to be the second personal against Kauna. Maganda na preserve ng Sarangan ni Marlin yung foul situation, foul situation nila. Remember, uh, at 7th minute, minute mark, tatlong foul na yata ito sila. Pontejos, over the outstretched arms of Gomaru. No problem para dito kay Paolo Pontejos. 20 points now in the game. For Laguna's leading scorer, itong si Paolo Ponteos. And we bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet on the win. Ponteos definitely on Gumaru on that play. Hand up, no problem right there. Para kay Paolo Ponteos getting his team back to within six points once again as they go in this timeout.
Kaya pinag-uusapan lang natin, Javi, no? Uh, at the start of the game, in order for uh, Laguna okay, to compete in this game, is they need to do it defensively. Alam naman natin, itong Sarangani uh, Marlies, nag-average sila ng 81 points okay, per outing. Pero ngayon, na-limit lang nila sa 61. To the Vichy, trying to get something going inside. Fishing expedition successful right there was Ivan. But despite the low scoring game, coach, Sarangani still seems to be very much in control of this one. Yes, true, true. Alam naman natin mas dominant talaga in terms of okay, player composition. Pero again, more important because pag nag-coach ka or if you have the team, is find a way na malagay mo sa magko-compete yung team. Okay? Before you win, you need to first to think, so, paano, paano natin, ano pwede natin gawin para at least, kung natin ng last two minutes, meron pa tayong chance na manalo. Okay? Malagay mo yung team mo na may chance na manalo. Okay? And uh, for me, what Laguna did today, okay, talagang, I think, they, they play pe prepared well for this game, especially okay, playing for your home ground. I like kung ano yung nakita ko sa kanila. And alam ko, okay, start to ng, ng mas malaking bagay pa. Ponteos gets that jumper after the two free throws hit by Ivan Ludovice. 22 points now in the game para sa kanya. Seven in this quarter. Crucial defensive possession here para sa heroes. Ludovice has been very hot in this game. Pero Mingan, for three, in and out. Offensive rebound, Kaunan. Pero Mingan wisely holds it back and gives it to Ludovice. Step back, Ivan, for three, yes sir! He has only missed one three-point shot in this game. Talking about Ivan Ludovice. 22 points now in this game, 11 in this quarter alone, and six out of seven from downtown. Let's look at that again. So good, you have to see it twice. Ito si Ivan Ludovice taking the cudgels on the scoring end. Para kay Coach Bonnie Garcia and the Serengeti Martins as they're back up by nine, 66 to 57, heading into this timeout. Ivan Ludovice waxing hot from Rainbow Country in this game. Six out of seven. Isa lang ang pintis niya. 22 points now in this game. And more importantly, hitting the timely shots to keep Laguna at bay in this one. Yeah, exactly. Talagang dagger yun, uh, Javi. Okay, okay. Okay, nangyari yung play sa harap natin. Alam natin na uh, yung focus ng uh, Laguna, especially yung on the ball defender niya, then hindi rin siya ng ganung clock. You're gonna take that, yung medyo mahirap na play point, and still nails it. Anap, it's really a dagger for the Laguna clock. So let's see if the heroes have enough time to get back in this one. Setting in a 9-point lead. Astrero, Spitz, baseline. Gonna get that one to go. Another MP possession on the offensive end. Para sa heroes. And as they shift back to defense, Estrero giving up the foul. Yeah, ayun kasi talaga yung misal na mahirap talaga ng situation eh. Yung uh, off a timeout, okay, the details na yung, you only have 14 seconds because you heard the last two minutes already. Kailangan talaga yung coaching staff mo talaga involved na involved na yung game resets, okay, yung situation, kung saan mag inbound Ayan ang mga detalying kailangan alam ng mga coaches at alam din ng mga players. So far right now, Laguna. Down by nine against Sarangani, who are primed to win victory number seven here. I think that Nathan still a lot of basketball to be played here under a minute remaining. 
So the VC will play the clock. Spin. Up. Under. In and out. Kaona couldn't get the put back to go. Chance here for the heroes to inch closer. Ponteos for three. That's long. The rebound belongs to Gabby Espinas. Laguna forcing a jump ball situation. Unfortunately, our possession arrow pointing the way of the Marlins. Good time definitely not on the side of the heroes in this one. Ludovice will take his time here. Is he done? Yeah, that was my job. <laughs> oh, a slam missed there by Kaunan. That could have been the icing on top of the cake. But Mateos getting a score on the opposite end. However, at 24 points. His production, not enough to get victory number two para sa Laguna in this game. Going up against the very loaded Sarangani Marlins squad. Reeling from the absence of Kitty Menes, but no problem para sa kanila as different players stepping up on different occasions. Yeah, congratulations sa kayo sa Sarangani Marlins. And uh, yeah, good game for the Laguna club. Ludovice.